Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome small front kitchen travel trailer. This is a 2021 Coachman Freedom Express Ultra Light Edition model 259FK. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Freedom Express and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this small, not small, medium-sized travel trailer that's a front kitchen. Super awesome and nice. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. So yeah, this is like small to us because if you look around at our lot, like everything is so big. Yes. The smaller stuff is selling. This is like average. I mean, everything's selling. Everything's selling, but yes. especially the smaller stuff. Yes. You know, you don't need as big of a vehicle and everything to tow it. That's why it goes a little bit quicker. Um, but this is more medium, you know, average size. So when you see something like this, if it's what you're looking for, always in this market, make sure to jump on it. It's going quick. Um, so yeah, but it, it's a great, you know, average size travel trailer. It's a small unit with a big old package. That's right. Well, let's begin. Model is 259FKDS. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 29 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight is 6,494 pounds. And well, that hits weight? 752 pounds. Perfect, always remember, get weight distribution bars no matter what. But what's real nice about this is, this is truly, truly under 30 feet long. Right here, we do have a lipper component power tongue jack. Makes it easy to get on and off your truck. Propane tanks go here, batteries there. And then right there, we got the spare tire, spare tire carrier. Beautiful fiberglass front cap right here. Very nice, it's molded, it looks good. You got the LED lights. Nice big windshield right there. You'll really appreciate that when we're on the inside. Yep. And this is a chrome diamond plate rock art. Very nice. Coming on down the side here. We do have storage right here, very good. Really nice storage right there. Here's your water heater, okay? And then you do have four point manual stabilizing jacks, okay? And we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Well, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. All right. Nice, very nice power awning with the LED lights. Now, because this is a coach motorhome, they're using the aluminum cage construction with the Asdale sidewall composite. I love that. That's a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. And they do use, they do have a heated and enclosed underbelly right there. Right here, we do have our lipper component solid steps. Love that. And then look at this, Will. Psh, America. America. Hell yeah, beer opener, dog leash holder. This is like my two favorite things combined into one. That's right. I love it. Uh, very nice power awning. Right here, you do have a place to hook up TV if you want. This is a place for you to have like a little fold up table maybe a propane quick connect and every, not not a propane quick connect, but like, maybe like a little skillet top propane or whatever. Propane top. Yep, yep, something like that. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Westlinks. I love those, Super ST. They're the uh, ST225-75 R15 with the nice wide spread Dexter axle there. And then check this out. Not only do you have a front kitchen, you have an outside kitchen. Nice. Very nice. Nice little cabinet tree up here. Okay. Really big fridge attitude right here. A sink that's plumbed through. This is very, very nice. Right. And right here, what could this be? Storage? Yep, just a little bit more storage. Oh, and there's one of the tabletops and the propane tops right there as well. Very nice. And then coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your spanky slinky. The spare tire was up front. It is prepped for a Voyager backup camera. And we do have a ladder to get up on the roof. Well, let's go up there and take a look. All right. 
here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece cross flex PVC roof. We do have one air conditioning 30 amp unit, okay? Right here is gonna be a cutout for a max air fan. Right there, it does have your wine guard 360 digital antenna. Oh, and right there is another cutout for a fan right there. Here we go now. Great. Ugh. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Perfect. Finishing up with the driver's side. Oh, dang nabbit well. We got a little bit of storage right there. Right over here. 30 amp power cord. All the hookups. City water connection, black tank, flush outdoor shower. Potable water fill. Potable, potable. Very nice. Don't forget the connection. Oh, right there. Suit body waste connection. Body waste, that sounds yeah. weird. Liquid waste, liquid waste. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Don't grab the keys. Womp womp. Well, no. Yeah, I guess since you said something. Now we have to. We got storage right there, held up by a magnet. And we'll come on down here. We're going to check it out. Okay. A little bit more storage right there. Wow. Oh, wow, a lot of storage. Wow, a ton oh, of storage. Next to the bed. Very nice. See, I'm glad I uh, got the keys and opened it up. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right. Up well, front, we got the kitchen, the dining area, the living area, entertainment center. And down here in the middle, you got the bathroom. And then all the way in the back, you got the bedroom. Where are we starting up front? We're going to start in the middle. In the middle? In the middle. Okay. Living. No, you know what? Let's start in the back. Okay. We're going to mix things mix up. Mix it up. Bit. Do it backwards. Wow. Okay. First, light. This is a king size bed, Will. That is, yeah. Wow. What a what a crazy thing. To put a king size bed in a less than 30 foot travel trailer is absolutely amazing. Right. We do have storage above here. Very nice. I like, so look, this is on solid wood, right? Right. But it looks clean and crisp does, and nice, yeah. doesn't it? A uh, window right here, not on the side. It's a little weird. And that's also weird right there. The slide out control button's actually in the slide yeah, out. Yeah, that's weird. I haven't seen that before, I actually, either. ever. Um, very Anybody unique. get this? Yes. Some wardrobe, well, not wow. really wardrobe space, but. Very deep, okay. And then over here, Yep, show, show oh, your side. Oh, this side first? Yep. Got some storage there. Oh, yeah, I can't see some. Deep storage here. And right there. And then right there is where a TV is going to go. Now, it's kind of weird because this area feels empty. It does. And a little more closed off. Closed off. Right, like but it, it's because you get that awesome outside you do. kitchen. Yep, it's a give and take. Give and take. Coming storage on. under the bed? Does it of lift? Of course, yeah. Just remember, it all connected yep. through. Very nice. nice storage underneath the bed. Then going on here in the living room, look at this. Very nice. You do have a slide out, no carpet. I love that. Thomas Paine collection right here. We have cabinetry above. Very nice. All lit up. Again, this is a cheap cabinetry, but it looks good still. Does that make sense or not? Yeah. Nice balances That's right what here. what they did with the wood grain, I think. Right. And then your shades right there. And then right here is the theater seats. Thomas Paine collection. Very nice. 
We do got a little seat up right here. Kick up, looking directly across the TV with a fireplace. TV is right there. Um, really good angle. You got your sound speaker right there. What's nice about this fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity, everyone. And then here, we got storage right there and there. And, ooh, look at this. A little pantry. A little pantry action going on. Very Not big. little. Big. Lots and lots of pantry space with the shelves that you can remove. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. 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 On this travel trailer here is... $43,479 MSRP. Sale price, Will, do you see a sale price there? I do not. Because it's a current model year. We do have a sale price, we just can't advertise the sale price. But Will, I know we sell these at most of our locations and I know we'll be able to get everybody a fantastic sale price. And if somebody wants to buy one of these and get the best price in America, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. It's my personal cell. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. But the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three forms of contact. If you're ready to buy this travel chiller or any travel chiller, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV where somebody from my team is going to print you out Matt Cash. And somebody from my internet team will contact you and get you the best price in America. If you're not ready to buy this travel chiller, not a problem. That's what tab number two is for. Click that. That sends an email to both Will and myself. And we're here to answer any questions that you have before you're ready to talk to my internet team to get a sale price. Or if you're just a generalized fan, click that third tab. And Will. It doesn't matter if you click tab three, two, or one. It doesn't matter if you talk to my internet team or you print out your Mac cash and bring it into the store with you. There is one thing that every tab has in common. They're gonna get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Well, let's continue the video. All right. And guess what we're gonna do? Bathroom? Or dinette. Guess? Okay. So here's the dinette, folks. We got the windows all around. Very nice light fixture. Art Deco? No. Oh. This is what the bed looks like when it's down, okay? We do have storage underneath the dinette and storage there. And then to get the bed back up, go like that, go a little bit like that, okay? Then you take this, very nice and easy. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> I got it, I got it, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, just like that. Very nice, easy to set up and everything. What's nice about this table is you can bring it outside with you and everything. And then sitting at the dinette, it's comfy. Yeah. It's just a, and it's, it's adjustable, so yeah. that's nice. So if there's, you put the fat people on one side, skinny folk on the other, and then you're good to go. That's right. All right, well, show us the kitchen. <clears throat> All right. No, it's a front kitchen, so show us the bathroom. Okay. We're doing everything backwards. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's weird. What? Oh, the door from the outside. Lock somebody in there. So if somebody has Tijuana flats, <laughs> right. you lock them in. Uh oh, it's radial shower. Oh man. Okay. So, I mean, you guys know we can't pass the radial showers. Well, it's against it's the law to pass. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there is enough headspace, but it's just way too tight to, to shower in here. Not a fan. Not a fan. Right here, we do have plenty of space for your towels. Little sink right there. Storage underneath. And then it's now time for the toilet test. Okay. Porcelain. Porcelain. 
No. It oh. looks good. It's too close. I'm hitting uh, this with the door closed. My foot's not at a good angle. Yeah. I mean, this is, so you know how we could do borderline and then we'll pass it? Yeah. This is borderline and we're gonna fail it. It's okay. at like 50%. And I, I could have gone either way, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna pass it. Okay. No problem. Will, show us the kitchen. All right. All right, sounds good. So we'll start over here. Got some nice storage up top here. Yes, Looks sir. Like another little pantry. That's awesome. Nice. There, uh, you did have the inserts in there as well. Insert them, Will. Insert okay. them. Good idea. I had to fold up this dang table. <laughs> you can at least insert them. All right. Look at that front windshield right there. Right. And that is very nice for um, when you're, uh, you know, doing dishes or whatever. You're not like stuck right up against the wall. I right. love that. Exactly. Got some storage up top here. Like Matt said, nice big window here. It does have a shade. You know, so if you want a little bit of privacy or if it's too much light, that's fine. Um, nice faucet there. Double uh, bowl sink with the inserts, not solid surface countertops. And then, oh, this is cool because that's where all your sink plumbing is. So you yep. can put your silverware and everything there. Okay, and then very cool. Did I already do these? Uh, I think so, but yeah. it's so nice you can show it twice. <laughs> nice little high point microwave. Okay, okay. Range hood here with the light. Hood range. Look behind that sign. What sign, this one? The, the Asdell sign. Oh yeah. Hey that's now, a, that's a tower of power. That's right, two days in a row, right? Nice little window here that opens up, let in some fresh air, some more natural light. Three burner, oops. Three burner, who Ma makes this? Magic, Magic Chef. Magic Chef cooktop. And it lights up white. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, yes it does. Ooh. And oven right there. And then a nice, it says eight cubic foot, Dometic two-way fridge works off of both gas or electric. Very and nice. And like Matt said, you still have this pantry over here. I'll show that again, because that's awesome. So to nice we can show it twice. Yep. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this Freedom Express and three things we don't love about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we love. Okay. Um, I'm going to go first. Okay. First thing I absolutely love, and I'm doing the easy route. I love this front kitchen here. Yeah. It's unique. It's different. You have the nice big windshield. You have the big countertop area. Um, everything. It's, it's really nice about that. And that front windshield just makes it really, it really nice. Yep. Yeah. That is number one. Number two. I'm going to piggyback off of you a little bit. Typically with front kitchens, you lose a ton of storage and you did lose the front storage up there. Yep. But you have a little bit there, but this storage here, mostly the outside access, but we'll show it from in here. It's just awesome. Yeah. I mean, it goes all the way from here to the end of that. Again, it's maybe not the most ideal or the best place. It's not passer and everything, but if you want that front kitchen mm -hmm. and you also need good storage, they, you know, they maximize it here, I think. I'm going to combo that with the uh, with the pantry up here as well. Right. Very nice. So that's number two. And then, well, number three, it's easy. Okay. Number three is going to be this nice big power awning in this outside kitchen. Right. I absolutely love this feature. This is a, a couple's camping trailer. You know what that's I'm saying? That's right. Very big, nice. I love the outside kitchen. I love how it's a real kitchen and everything. And I love how there's a dog leash. It's also a beer opener. Psh, America. Very nice. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this trailer. Would you like to go first? Um, it's gonna be hard for me. Do you have any? Here we go now. Okay. Okay. First dislike. Okay. Love this front kitchen. I feel like that's wasted space right does that make sense or no yeah yeah i mean you, you i know, feel you can like, use it but it's not the most 
use a bowl space. Correct. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but it's just like way too... Too far. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. I wish people understand on TV. Like, it's awkward saying, because it's like, you want to say, like, lack of counter space. Well, there's counter space. But it's weird. But it's weird, yeah. Right. Like, I wish there was more length of counter yes. space. Because, like, there's no area to really prep. Like, you got to, you know, you cut right. parents over here. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's number one. Number two is in this bedroom. I love how it has the outside kitchen. But it's just weird right here. It's very weird. It's just weird. Can I overcome that to have a king size bed in an outside kitchen? Absolutely. Absolutely, I can. It's just still a little weird to see this empty. I don't know what I would have rather had. Like, I don't have a solution. I could just identify the problem. Right. So that's number two. And then, well, number three, do we go there? Yeah, or... that's what I was going to say. You're talking about this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, talk, talk about it. Yeah, I mean, this bathroom is, like, almost like everything. Like, that sink's really small. It's usable. The shower's really small. I guess but it's usable. usable. In the, yeah, exactly. So, you know, the toilet's not in a great position. It's not, you know, if it was one of those things, I probably wouldn't have. Even two of those things. Yeah. But all three, it's just kind of a little weird. I'm going to combo that with the lock on the outside. I feel like they just put it on backwards. Yeah, I don't need Andrea locking me in here. You know right. what I'm saying? Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the Freedom Express Ultralight. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please call, text, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal number or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a travel trailer like this, in a few minutes, oh my gosh, is it one of those days? <laughs> In a few moments, you're going to see what this unit directly competes against right here and here. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this is just kind of your average size couples travel trailer. Yes. Um, like we said earlier, units this size are going. They're hot. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure to jump on it quick. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.